Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ascendaz here. Conquest Assault is a mode that in my eyes brings what's great about Operations and Conquest and slams them together into a dynamic game mode. We got three maps that offer Conquest Assault. Heligoland Bight, Cape Hells, and Zeebrugge. Let's cover Cape Hells first, just to get a better picture of Conquest Assault, as this is a mode most have already experienced and we will delve into Heligoland Bight, which is a lot more complex but we can use the information about Cape Hells to form a better picture for Heligoland. All right, so let's get right into it. Cape Hells with Storming the Beach. Conquest Assault gives you a starting point. I like to think of this as operations putting people on both ends. The focal point at the start is clearly indicated between the boats and the beach and is going to be tougher on the attacker, but compensates with tickets at the start of the round. You will need to utilize the rocks and cover to push in as well as the corners. Take note of this for Heligoland Bite. Snipers cannot single out every section if the push is effective. If one way is not working, push to the other corner of the map and use those trenches for cover to flank heavy and do it quickly. Longer you wait between pushes, the more time you give the opponent to think. New focal points after pushing. If the assault on the beach is successful, the focal point then changes to A, C, D, and B. This gives the most versatility pushing back and forth between points and maximizing points and kills. As an assault, this area is a haven for cover, and you no longer have to worry about storming the beach unless you completely lose your foothold on the map, but even then, this should never happen. Note the boats can be effective to the points near the beach, but the elevation helps provide cover for the in infantry to scale the points. Note this for Heligoland Bight. Heligoland Bight, yes, can feel very overwhelming. Now, the big takeaway from Cape's Hells is how predictable you can anticipate your enemies once you see certain points are taken. I have spoken before how you can anticipate the danger of Cape Hells. Even when it came to vehicles, this is quite easy as they are always south of the main objectives. For Heligoland Bight, let's start off with where in the world do I go? I'm going to keep it a simple answer and come back to this one later. Take Objective D. This is your strongest point as both attacker and defender and grants you access to both sections of the map as you can see. It can be a strong defense using the rocks as an attacker be used to give a variety of options of where you can attack. Remember the giant rock in the middle of the map does help drive the action to certain areas. Let us cover what feels overwhelming before I delve more into what each point does and offers. Too many boats. Boats are useful, but remember the points are on land. They are more exposed and prone to attacks from infantry even if they do beach the boat. But there are bigger boats. Bigger the boat, the larger the target and the harder they fall. Big boats should utilize the map as cover and use distance to help against infantry and to single out planes. But Daz, there are a ton of planes. Yes, planes can be pesky. With how many trenches and rocks, they can be quite useless unless in the hands of an extremely good player. Even then, get some people to focus them down and they'll be quick worked. Now back to the points. F and A are gimme points. These points are too far away from the action to truly make the biggest difference for infantry. Leave this to the boats. And they have the highest risk, of course, again, being pestered by those boats. Remember that this is the furthest from D, the strongest point for infantry. Now the points around D. This is the playground for infantry, and remember in Cape Cells we talked about predictable encounters? Well, after breaking down the map, it definitely feels way less overwhelming now. Once you have D, you have access to push in a variety of ways. You can utilize the north objectives, or you can push down for objectives towards the south. The map does not change its focus like in Cape Hells. Boats have a hard time accessing these points and are extremely vulnerable. Infantry like Cape Cells should utilize the rocks, provides for cover around D and trenches near B. Make your enemies fall into predictable patterns on this map, and this will be the biggest tools for success. Boats and airships, while effective, can't take an objective unless they fully expose their position, remember this, giving the advantage to assault players to take them out. Use the rocks for cover, because I will admit, even when enemies utilize the rocks against me, I had a hard time locating them as they passed by. Feels way less overwhelming, right? Let me know in the comments how you fare on this map as an infantry, now that the new TTK changes, Time to kill changes all are in effect. Be sure to check out more helpful tips and bootcamp at www.battlefield.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.